was was surreal. How fortunate do you feel to be sitting here today? Oh, it's true. I mean, we thank God for life. I'm Adrian Gobriel. Welcome to Sir Vivian Richard Cricket Stadium. It seats about 20,000 people, sits in the heart of Antigua, though it's now home to 152 evacuees from Barbuda. You get from one room to the next. Hearing your roof coming off. You're in the first room, then you have to skip to the second one, skip to the third one, <laughs> and eventually you have to get up at the inner corner. And it's finished 100%. Yeah. On the surface in Antigua, everything appears to be moving along per usual. They'll scratch the surface and you'll find a moving display of humanity. Everyone knows someone on the island involved in the relief effort. Inside the cricket stadium, it's a team effort. Laundry is hung outside. Entire rooms are packed with everything from rice to diapers. Well, presently they're sleeping downstairs where the locker rooms will be, where the dorms will be. We have placed, we have the male and female dorms, where our single mothers stay in the female dorms. Our families are in like the physiotherapy and coaches room. Say so it's a task, it's a, it's a really hard task. I'm not gonna say it's easy, it's not. It's a hard task, but when you move with compassion and love, it removes things. We give us strength to go on. Hopefully we can get through this and go back home eventually. As so many wait in vain for word and find small jobs to pass the time, the overwhelming sentiment from so many is to go home where the real cleanup awaits. Only time will tell just how long people can remain at peace, living in large groups in such close quarters. Because I think a lot of them are still stressed. A lot of them are still having emotional issues with the memories of what they go through. I'm just... When you see everybody, you're here with everybody, you realize what happened, you're not in your own space. So it's, it's kind of hard sometimes. We're going to hold on. We, we have no choice, so we're going to hold on and just, just make it through. We have to be strong. The Prime Minister of Antigua estimates it could cost upwards of $300 million to rebuild Barbuda. It's about one-fifth of the entire country's GDP. As for how long evacuees are going to have to stay here at the stadium and other shelters, it could be anywhere from six months, even longer. In Antigua, I'm Adrian Gobriel, City News.